Hi, this is Richard Hazler, proud principal of Pequannock Valley Middle School, a grade six through eight school in Pompton Plains, New Jersey, as part of the Pequannock Township School District. And welcome to this week's episode of Learning Sparks, where we learn and grow together, talking about instructional strategies that enhance student learning in your classrooms. Today, I'd like to talk to you about how to build confident learners, because we wanna make sure that when students walk into our classroom, they know that success is going to happen. And we wanna make sure that they're confident about their learning. So let's talk about ways in which we can build confident learners. I think one of the first ways we can do it is to set realistic goals for our students, to make sure that we have goals that they know that they can accomplish. They're not super easy, but yet they're not super challenging. And so if we look at each individual student that we have in our classrooms, we can probably think about a goal that we would be appropriate for them, whether it's a particular lesson or a set of lessons or an assessment that we might be giving them. But it's also important that we follow up with them and see it, how they're doing on their goals. Because if they see that we're invested in their success, they're going to want to attain their goals. And so set realistic goals for each student in your classroom, and I think you'll see more confident learners. Another way to build more confident learners is to create an open, positive environment in your classroom. When students feel safe, they feel trusted, they feel respected, and they feel like they're gonna be listened to, that goes a long way in having them be confident in their learning. So create an open, positive environment for them in your classrooms or as a building administrator. Another way to build confident learners is use teaching strategies that provide for equal opportunities. You may have students that walk into your classroom that don't talk very much. And if they do that th through every class period of every day, they may go through a day without talking to anyone, but they have some good ideas. So if we use techniques like uh, apps like Padlet or Google Slides or Pear Deck, those types of apps provide opportunities for students who may not be uh, ones that, that talk a lot in classrooms, but they'll be able to ask questions and be involved in class conversations. And then you're having equal participation for everyone. Another way that you can build confident learners is to simply show enthusiasm for your subject matter and your student's success. When students are successful, we should be celebrating that success having bulletin boards in our classroom, writing student names up on the board, congratulating them, giving them certificates or stickers. Little things like that can go a long way in building confidence when they see that you're invested in their success. And when you're passionate about the subject and you're jacked up about what you're teaching on that particular day, students should want to run into your classroom. And so if you can, if you can use teaching strategies and show enthusiasm for your subject and show the enthusiasm for your student's success, you're gonna see more confident learners. Another way to build confident learners is to provide positive feedback for them. You wanna validate their success. If students go several days or, or weeks without feedback from you on how they're doing, they're not gonna feel very confident and they're not gonna know where they are in your classroom. So make sure that when you're providing feedback, it's positive and it's constructive and it gives them ways that they can meet their goal. Tell them maybe what they need to improve upon and give them a goal to shoot for and you'll have more confident learners in your classroom. Another way to have more confident learners is to simply model confidence. Be confident as a teacher. Know your subject matter, go in there and have fun with it. When they see you being confident about what you're teaching and what you're doing, it makes a big difference. So make sure that you model your confidence for your students and you'll have more confident learners. You need to foster creativity to have confident learners in your classroom. Let students find their passions or use their passions. Incorporate art, incorporate music, have kinesthetic activities where students may be up and moving around because when students become more creative and they're allowed to follow their passions, you're gonna see them be more confident. It's amazing what can happen when a student can capitalize on their strengths that may not normally get to happen in your classroom. So make sure you foster creativity and you'll have more confident learners. I think one of, the, one of the last pieces to build confident learners is to allow students to have more opportunities for success. Very often we get tied up in making sure that we have all of our grades in order for our students, we have our assessments, but it's all really about mastery. So make sure that students have multiple opportunities to be successful. If they have a test and they don't do so well, maybe give them another opportunity uh, whether it's with the same assessment or an alternative assessment. Because ultimately it's about student mastery and if we can help build their confidence in that content area, why wouldn't we want to do that? Because we're creating more confident learners. It's very simple. Building confidence in students can happen in four simple words. 
I believe in you. Tell them that you believe in them and you'll watch those learning sparks fly. Because building confident learners is critically important to student success in your classrooms. And you'll see that you'll be able to go a lot further, not just with your content, but with just having fun in your classrooms when your students are more confident in their success. So thanks for joining me on this week's episode of Learning Sparks. I look forward to hearing how you make and help your students become more confident. You can follow me on Twitter at Rich Hazler, where we can share ideas and build your personal learning networks and continue to learn and grow together. So have a great day, everybody, and always do what's best for kids. Take care.